Hello there Power Ranger fans, it is me, Admin Gold King Ranger, and I'm back with another Power Rangers Beast Morphers toy review. Wow, awesome. So, last time we took a look at the Beast X Morpher from Power Rangers Beast Morphers, and now in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Power Rangers Beast Morphers action figures wave one. Awesome. So this is the first wave of Power Rangers Beast Morphers action figures we've got from Hasbro and they look absolutely fantastic. Now I've got these figures from Amazon.com but you guys can in the UK can pre-order these from our good friends over at Tokyo Toy Store. There'll be links in the description below if you want to get them either from took your toy store or if you can't wait that long <laughs> get them from amazon.com like me but okay so well let's what we're going to do is take a look at the figures and the no effects keys as you see here and and so on and so on okay so what we have in this wave we have Devon the red ranger Rav, R Ravi the blue ranger Zoe the yellow ranger Atronic and Blaze, the cyber villain. Cyber villain Bla Blaze. Okay, so we got some pretty good figures. We got three rangers and two villains. And they each come with Morphex keys and weapons and they all have articulation and so on. So what are we going to do is we're going to take a look at each individual figure, take a look at their Morphex key and see what sounds they make and the morpher and so on. Okay, so figure number one is Devon the Red Ranger. Okay, so what we're going to do first is let's take a look at his Morphex key, which is right here. Now, the Red Ranger's Morphex key is a cheetah design because his animal DNA is connected to the cheetah. Well, the cheetah is his animal DNA, <laughs> but there you go. Okay, so what you can do is we're going to take the key and we're going to just get it out like this. And as you can see here, we can take a look at the key blade itself, which is pretty cool. And the thing with the morpher is it reads all these little push-up bits that activate a combination of buttons inside the morpher, which activate the different sounds, which is pretty cool. Now, we're going to bring in our trusty Beast X morpher, which we reviewed last time. And if we turn it on and do all the stuff. What we're going to do is insert the key into the morpher and see what sounds it makes. Cheetah Beast Power Red! Let's go for a spin, Cruz! Cheetah Beast Power Red! Awesome. And of course we can activate the morph sounds like this. Are you ready? Say it's morphin' time! It's Red Ranger time! <laughs> so there you go. So let's take that out. Awesome. So we'll keep that for later. Now, let's have a look at the figure itself. So first of all, we're going to take a look at, quickly look at the accessories it comes with. So, first of all, it comes with a, the Morph X Sabre. Now, as you can see, the Morph X Sabre is very well detailed with silver, a nice metallic blue and black. And just, I mean, look at that detailing right there. It just looks fantastic. I love that. It's, fan it's just brilliant. I love it. That's on the back. Quite hollow on the inside. But that's really cool. I love that. And then the second weapon he comes with is the Cheetah Beast Blaster. Now, this is the blaster the Red Ranger uses in the Megazord cockpit in the series to unleash his ultimate attack. If we turn it over. Oop. Before I drop it. That looks really cool. So you've got black and red. Maybe a bit more paintwork here or something would have been really nice. But there you go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you the articulation for the Red Ranger. Because pretty much the Red and Blue Ranger both pretty much share the same articulation. So, but before we do articulation, let's have a look at more detail of the figure itself. So as you can see straight away, you've got a really nice generic Ranger look. It's supposed to be, I think he's meant to be 5 inches tall, maybe 5.5 inches tall, something like that. So first of all, you've got a nice metallic red on the visor and just a nice bit of silver. Some black 
spots for the cheetah spots, silver for the eyes and the mouth and the mouth mouthpiece and the side of the sunglasses because that's the kind of the gimmick of the morph sequences the sunglasses are the visors and you can see the trans pod on the on the straps unfortunately it's not really painted but that doesn't matter I'm sure you could probably get like a silver sharpie and just go over that logo in silver speaking of silver we've got a nice grid battle force logo right here in the buckle like so and some silver on the arm and on the sides and then you've got a nice look of the beast x morpher here orange for the goggles and the blue and the silver just make sure the camera gets into focus for that I mean, look at that that just looks fantastic i love the detailing on that the silver and the blue and the orange and the black it looks great on the back the paint the figure is painted on the back so that's one up for Ban from Hasbro. That's one up for Hasbro. Brilliant. Okay, and nice boots. The boots look fantastic. Okay, so so that's the detailing done. Now the articulation. Okay, so the head pretty much can move 360 degrees like so because it's on a bit of a ball joint so you can move it up and down like so. That looks great. Do you think of this? Do you think this review is going to be really good? Devin agrees. <laughs> so let's do the arm, shall we? So the arm can go up like so because it's on a ratchet joint, and it can turn 360 degrees. Sorry. Now, bit of now this is a little interesting thing actually because you can bend the elbow, but you can also turn it 360 degrees as well, and it's the same for this arm you can bend and twist so you can do you can get them into some pretty awesome poses which is fantastic I mean that's just great I love that now as for the legs the legs can go forward or back well kind of it's just the butt gets in the way at the knees this is pretty cool at the knees you can bend the knees like this but you can also turn it 360 degrees and that is fantastic. I love that. So you can probably get him into some pretty cool poses. Now, there's another little thing you can actually do with the Morphex key. Because it's not just a key for your Morpher. You probably notice on the back, there's a little something here. And you're probably wondering, what's that for? Well, if we take our Power Ranger figure, or villain, we're going to insert the key onto here. And you can use it as a weapon and that's fantastic I absolutely love that so let's see if we can uh, get him to hold the cheetah beast blaster in this hand and get the Morphex Sabre in the other hand like that Ooh, there we go <laughs> it's a, it takes a little while for these figures to get their weapons on hold because when you first take them out of the box they they're a little bit stiff trying to get the weapons on so so if we hop, get him in a cool pose let's see maybe something like there we go yeah that looks really cool I love that okay that looks fantastic okay let's move on to our next figure Ravi the Blue Ranger. Okay, so action figure number two is Ravi the Blue Ranger. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to get things ready and we're going to take a look at the key first. But let me get the morpher on the side ready to rock and roll. So, now the Blue Ranger's key is the gorilla, as you can see, and it's pretty cool. I love the design for the gorilla one. And if we turn the key up like this, you can reveal the key itself. Looks cool. Now we're going to insert it into the morpher and see what sounds it makes. Blue Ranger power! Don't worry, Smash. I got this. Blue Ranger power! Rangers, it's go time! <laughs> awesome. Let's go! And just to show you that all the morphs are all the same, It's morphin' time! Yep, 
that's awesome. And the same effect as well. It pretty much all does, all the range of keys pretty much do the same sounds, morph sequence and so on. Okay. So, what's, well let's take a look at the figure itself. So, the detail, okay, so, accessories, okay. So first of all, with accessories, he comes, the Blue Ranger comes with the Beast X, the Morphex Cannon, which is a combination of the Morphex Blaster and the Morphex Saber. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool actually. With a nice bit of silver and blue and black, silver at the top. It just looks, oh, sorry. Just trying to show you on both sides. It looks really cool, I love that. It's fantastic. And of course, he also comes with the Morphex Saber as well, which is fantastic. And details on the Blue Ranger himself, well, he has metallic blue on his visor, a nice bit of silver as well on the glasses and the mouthpiece. At the top, you got silver for the eyes and the black for the nostrils for the gorilla because the gorilla is the animal DNA the Blue Ranger is connected with. Again the transpod is not um, painted but again that could be something that you could do with a silver sharpie if you wanted to. Grid Battleforce logo on the buckle. Silver paintwork on the arms and a very nice blue. The only other thing missing I've noticed is the zip on the suit on the front of all the Ranger figures the Beast X Morpher, looking fantastic. And his articulation is pretty much the same, 360 degrees at the head. He can nod up and down. Yes, he thinks it's going to be a good review too. <laughs> and arm elbow joints, like so. And the legs, pretty much the same. When you first get them out of the box, they might be a bit stiff. Bear that in mind, they'll probably be a bit stiff. So. Let's see if we can get Blue Ranger to hold his Morphex key weapon and get him to hold his uh, hold on, Morphex. Be very careful some of these weapons, they can be a little bit delicate, especially with this one. So let's put the Morphex key in on his arm, like so. So I'm going to hold it like that and then get him to Hold his beast at Morphex blades. Morphex saber, sorry. I do apologise, I'm still getting used to all the names, but it, yeah, that's it. Morphex saber, Morphex cannon, that's it. Okay. Okay, that looks fantastic. I love that. So, okay, so we're finished with this one. Let's move on to. Oh, you're tired out already, Blue. Oh dear. That looks cool. Okay, so let's move on to figure number three, and that's Zoe the Yellow Ranger. Okay, so figure number three is Zoe the Yellow Ranger. Awesome. So this is the first female figure we've got from the Power Rangers Beast Morphers action figure line. Okay, what we're going to do is, let's bring in the Morpher again. Ready to rock and roll with that. And we're going to show off the Jackrabbit Morphex Key. So as you can see, it's a Jackrabbit design. So you've got the bunny rabbit ears at the top. Nice bit of white in black, like so. We flip it. Now I have to tell you, when you flip the, bl the key blade, hold it at this end and then turn it. Don't hold it at this end because it's quite flimsy and not so sturdy at the bunny ears end. But let's put the Morphex Key in and see what sense it makes. Jackrabbit Beast Power, yellow. You messed with the wrong ranger. Jackrabbit beast power, yellow. Awesome. Rangers, it's go time. More sequence. Are you ready? Say it's morphin time. It's go power time. <laughs> it's pretty much, you can pretty much do any kind of sound or anything. And just to show you the quickly, here's the look of the yellow Morphex Keyblade, just to see the pattern, like so. Okay, so let's have a look at the um, accessories that she comes with. So, 
This, okay, so you pretty much guessed it. Well, she comes with a uh, Morphex, Morphex Saber. But you've already had a look at that. Now, she comes with the Morphex Blaster. There we go. And that looks really cool. I love that. So you've got a nice bit of black and a tiny bit of metallic blue and silver. And it's in a nice strong blaster mode and it looks so cool. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the details now on the Yellow Ranger figure. Now, first of all, we've got a nice metallic yellow on the, on the visor, on the helmet. And again, nice bit of silver on the side and on the mouthpiece as well. And we've got the bunny jackrabbit ears and silver with the eyes. We move down. Again, the trans pod is not painted. But we've got a nice grid battle force emblem on the or logo on the buckle. Nice little black belt. And the morpher in all its fantastic silver, blue, and orange and black glory, which looks great. And silver all on here and on the skirt and the boots and so on. Now I'm going to show the articulation for the Yellow Ranger because obviously this is a female figure so the articulation is going to be slightly different. Okay, so 360 degree head turn just like all the other Rangers. Her ball joint for the head for the helmet is a lot better than the male figures I find but that's cool. Um, arms 360 degree turn and the elbows are on a ratchet joint like so. Ooh. Then we can bend at the elbow and she can turn her wrist 360 degrees as well. But I think her elbow is a little bit more triangular so be careful when you pose with this one. And the legs, obviously she can split her legs to the sides like this. And all the other, and the male rangers can do this as well. Like so. And we've got the knee as well. And she can turn 360 degrees, like so. And it's cool that the skirt can split to allow the legs to go up and do like a split move, which is pretty cool. Okay, so let's get her Morphex key and get her to hold on to it. And I'm gonna get the Morphex, Morphex Blaster and the Morphex Saber in her hand. And let's see if we can get her in a cool range of pose. Okay. Let's just quickly get her in a, in a really cool pose. Awesome stuff. Okay, so now we're going to... That's all the range of figures now. Kind of. <laughs> well, what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to our first villain figure. Tronic. Okay, so figure number four is the Tronic. Now the Tronic is a foot soldier that was created by Scrozzle that works for Evox. Who works for Evox, should I say? <laughs> okay, so here's, so this is obviously our first villain figure. So what we're gonna do, oh, obviously our Morpher is ready to rock and roll. Our Morpher is ready to rock and roll because the first thing we're going to do is have a look at the key. So we're going to get the key out like this. Now the key has the tr gen general tronic design which is represented on the top of the helmet. So what we're going to do is get the Morpher, insert the key in and here we go. Oh. Now, of course, the sounds change with the fighting sounds like this. Now, if we activate the morph sounds, let's have a look. Are you ready? Say, it's morphin' time. It's gin and tronic time. <laughs> Hashtag gin and tronic. <laughs> so, so, oh, so, so sorry. It's just totally random. Okay, so obviously the sounds are a little different in the Morpher as well. Not today, Rangers! Uh oh. 
finally, the Beast X Morpher is becoming infected by the Evox virus. Oh, is it now? <laughs> right. Let's take the key out and then let's have a look at the figure now. Okay, so the Tronic, apart from the key, comes with his two bladed weapons, as you can see. Now, the bl his weapons are two bladed, like double bladed sword weapons, but also has a blaster, which is pretty unique and pretty cool. Well, maybe not unique. It's, it's very cool. Let's put it that way. Okay, so let's take a look at the details. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the head. Now the head has that orange spot on the top of its head and a strange robotic design because the Tronics are robots. Sort of like a grey-black uh, collar piece at the right here. We've got the Evox sort of symbol right here in nice silver and red. We move down, we've got the belt and the buckle they've got the stripes and a nice sort of like a pinky purple maybe like a fuchsia color i think and then the boots we turn to the back that's been painted awesome and so let's take a look now at articulation so the head can turn not quite 360 degrees due to this collar but his head can move up and down as for arms you can do the ratchet joint he can't quite go 360 because of the collar again but you've got elbow and wrist. Well, not wrist. That's the only downside of these figures is they've got no wrist action. So you can't turn the wrist. But you've got the 360 degree turn on the elbow or calf. Upper arm, shall we say. Or lower arm, whatever you call it. So you can get him to slash with his weapon, which is pretty cool. And the legs. Now... Hasbro, why did you give him different legs? Basically, the only thing the villain figures can do is move their legs forward and back. Okay, that's cool. It can move all the way back, but there you go. So, and then as for the knee, you can bend it and then turn it 360 degrees on both legs, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's get his key and put it on his wrist. Oh. They can be, some of these keys are hard to get on there. There we go. So, oop. Uh, again, it's be, it, some of them work better with the Ranger figures. The villain figures take a little while to get them on their wrist. And you don't want to put the keys on the Ranger figures or Blaze on the side where they have their morpher because you don't want to break it or anything. So there you go. So there's the Tronic with his key. And now we get to move on to the last figure, Cyber Villain Blaze. Okay, so figure number five, and the last figure for this review is Cyber Villain Blaze. Now, Blaze in the series was originally meant to be the Red Ranger, but when his well, when he, the real Blaze got corrupted by the Evox virus, an evil avatar of himself was created, and and this became him. Now Blaze here is the viral Red Ranger, who's like the evil version of the Beast Morphers Red Ranger. So the dark side of Beast Morpher. It, it's basically the Beast Morpher Red Ranger powers corrupted by the Evox virus and it's really cool. Now in the Super Sentai series called Tukumu Sentai Go Busters, which is where Power Rangers Beast Morphers originally came from, this villain would be known as Dark Buster, and I know this has been a sort of a fan favourite to get this as a figure. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to get my morpher at the ready. And what we're going to do is get the key, and we have a, look, a quick look at the key. So I'm going to get that out. Now the key is the key, which you do get with the Morphex, with the Beast X Morpher. Just like the Red Ranger key. So they're both generally the same, but just for the, just because of this review... I will show the sounds in a second. But as you can see, the you've got the design of the viral Red Ranger, which is, which is really cool. I think this should have been orange instead of black, but that doesn't matter. Uh, okay, let's have a let's get the morpher. Oh. <laughs> Dear. Okay, let's try it in the morpher. I'm not a real human. I'm much better. I'm the better Red Ranger. I'm not a real human. I'm much better. Rangers. Let's do a morph, shall we? Are you ready? Say, it's morphin' time! It's destruction time. Ah! 
<laughs> so cool. Right, let's take the morpher out. We'll take the key out, turn the morpher off, and we'll put that on the side for later. Now, let's have a look at the accessories that come with the Cyber Villain Blaze. Okay, so we've got two. Apart from the Morph X key, of course, we've got two other weapons as well. So I'm just going to put him like so. And we're going to have a look. So first of all, he comes with his sword weapon, which looks pretty cool. It almost reminds me of the Chrono Saber from Power Rangers Time Falls. Don't ask why, but it just somehow does. But the, yes, this is his sword weapon. So you've got a bit of like cr dark crimson red, which is really cool. Nice bit of detailing on here. And black, like a dark black grey on the handle. And it's the same on both sides, which is pretty cool. And he comes with his own version of the Cheetah Beast Blaster. Like the Red Ranger's got. Whether or not that he'll have this in the series, I don't know. But I would I would hope he would, because it would be really cool to see him use like an evil version of the Cheetah Beast Blaster. But there you go. But that looks really cool, I love that. So you've got the black and the red and so on. Okay, so let's have a look at the figure's detailing, shall we? So first of all, we have a look at the top of the helmet. So you've got a nice orange on the visor and silver on the eyes and on the spikes at the top and on the mouthpiece and the visor and the teeth look menacing. And if we move down, we've got the Evox symbol here and on the buckle. If we turn to the side, you can see his evil morpher, which he uses to morph into the viral Red Ranger dark crimson red colour all down and black on the legs and so on and if we turn to the back nice bit of paintwork with silver and the dark dark blacky grey colour which is really cool I love it now as for articulation we've got head turn 360 degrees and a ball joint so it can move his head up and down elbow joints for the ratchet and you can turn it forward and back because of this piece you can't really go too far but he's got the elbow joints as well so you can turn like so be careful with that it can be very flicky and finicky you don't want to break that and then e knee joints like so on both knees like that and yeah that's all the articulation here so what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly oop, he's very tired so I'm just going to quickly give him his weapons like so and I'm going to give him his Morphex uh, Keyblade and I'm going to just put this on here like that before we finish up this review. Okay, this looks fantastic. I love these figures. Okay guys, well it's time to wrap up this review and finish up. Well, Power Ranger fans, that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it just as much fun we had making it. It's so cool to be the very first UK toy reviewer in this country to be reviewing the Power Ranger, Hasbro Power Rangers Beast Morphers action figures. This is so, it's a, such an honour to do this. It really is. Okay, so as always, we like to thank everyone for watching. Please remember, as always, to like the video, share the video, and comment below because all your feedback is important. Now we want to ask, who is your favourite Power Ranger Beast Morphers character so far in the series? Is it Devin the Red Ranger, Ravi the Blue Ranger, Zoe the Yellow Ranger, or is it one of the villains? Maybe Blaze, maybe Roxy, maybe Tronic. <laughs> it was like a Tronic. <laughs> Hashtag love for Tronic. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. So once again, thank you guys for watching. May the power protect you. Have a beast more phenomenal day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, Ranger fans. Cheetah Beast Power Red. Gorilla Beast Power Blue. Jackrabbit Beast Power.